Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have for you an equestrian haul and I have bought so much, it's a little bit ridiculous. And there are still a few things that I need to buy that Bonnie needs. But this is the majority. I love it also, it still has the tags attached as I actually bought some of it yesterday. And some of it I had for a little bit, I was just saving because I wanted to show you. But firstly we'll start with an essential which is the Nafoff Extra Effect Fly Repellent Spray and this is the 750ml one so this is huge I use this all through summer with my bunny as she has sweet itch so she needs a good fly spray that's actually going to work and this one does it doesn't smell the greatest but there again it keeps the flies away so I don't care at all what it smells like but this keeps the midges, horse flies, basically any type of fly away from her and I've even sprayed this over my hat when I've been riding out and it's helped to keep them away but yeah this is an essential and while we're on to the fly things I also got the Shire's fly mask which is this here and I got it without the ears because a bunny hates anything touching her ears we've bought so many fly masks that I've had ears and she just ruined them within a day so this is the fly mask here as you can see it's black mesh over, over the front and this you can actually see through really really well so that's really good for visibility for her and then this bit and the back is teal green so if it does come off in the field it should hopefully be quite easy to find I mean she has lost them in the field before but normally it's not that often she's quite good at keeping them on as obviously she has had a full life of wearing fly masks and fly rugs but these have really strong <laughs> elastic velcro and then the inside has this fake sheepskin lining that goes across the top of her head and it's also fleece lined at the bottom so that makes it really comfortable and it means that it won't rub it especially with her having to wear it for so long but I will hopefully be doing a video on sweet itch especially if that's something you would like to know as I do have a few things that I do maybe a little bit differently than what other people might do for a horse with sweet itch just let me know what you think of that and if you would like to see it or if not because it is, obviously it's a huge part of having Bonnie that she has this. I've also used Shire's fly masks for years and they are without a doubt some of the best ones I've ever used. And they do fit pretty well as well and they last which is really good. So next I got this, well it says it's a show shirt but I'm just going to wear it for every day. And this is from Dublin and it's made from this really lightweight material that is going to be like moisture wicking which is perfect for summer. And it is short sleeved. It does have quite a high neck as you can see there with a zip down and I actually love these type of tops with like this high neck because in summer if you're riding the back of your neck is normally exposed so to have this it stops it burning or anything like that and also this type of top and material is just so comfortable to wear and I really like this colour as well, this blue like I said this is actually a show shirt so I suppose you could use it for show jumping you couldn't really use it for any other because of the colour but for show jumping it would be fine and you could attach a stock to it as well as it does have the hook there but this material is just so soft I can't wait to be able to wear this obviously it's too cold right now but yeah I really really like this and I can't wait to wear it and I actually got this in a small which is a size bigger than what I would normally get but because I want to wear it for summer, I want it slightly oversized, not major, just because I don't want it like skin tight and then getting boiling hot, that's just not great. Now I have to say, when I ride, I normally just wear leggings, which isn't perfect, apart from when I ride out, I have some like reflective joppers, which are really good. But I decided to treat myself to some riding leggings, which are still quite new on the market, there aren't that many places to do them, but these are from Blackheart Equestrian as you can see right there and these are they're just so soft this material it's quite similar to that of running or gym leggings um, it has a high waistband which I really like and these are in charcoal so these are the darkest grey ones but they go with everything I've worn these a couple of times and the first time I wore them I rode Bunny she actually ended up booking and her head was literally by her knees but I managed to stay on so they must have quite good stickability because they do feel like they'd be quite slippy but when they're actually on your saddle they don't feel it at all 
it's a bit, bit odd but it definitely works like they are comfortable and you can still feel your horse and feel the saddle and everything but the main reason i actually got these is because on this leg they actually have pockets right here like there are actually two pockets and they are the perfect size for an iphone and also you could put your keys in there or maybe treats or something like that but that is the main reason why I got them, especially for summer I can just put my phone in there because normally I put it down my boot, which isn't brilliant, I will admit. But now I'll be able to put it just on my leg and I know exactly where it is. And on the back it does have the logo there and like I said it is down this leg as well. There, as you can see there. And this is like, I don't know how to explain this material that's used sort of feels like not sticky but like rubbery so I don't think that is going to come off very easily and it won't crack like on a lot of leggings and things it's just printed on and that cracks so easily but that will definitely stay on for quite a while also I am only five foot three so I am quite short I will admit but these are the perfect length for me like they are just that touch a little bit long but once you've got your boots on you obviously don't see that and obviously the bottoms are elasticated like the whole legging is just elasticated so they fit so well and they are so comfortable both to ride in walking the dog basically anything and i think you can also use them for going to the gym as well i also got another top and this is a polo but this actually has quite short sleeves and they actually look better on than how it looks off and this is from john whittaker and this is in brown it's not a color i would normally go for but I actually really like it, it's quite a dark brown, it's a John Whittaker logo on the front and it says John Whittaker on the back but it isn't really obvious, like it mo looks more obvious on camera than it actually is in person, it's actually quite a dark brown that's used for the embroidery on the back, but again this material is so soft and polo tops are just perfect to wear during summer, it's just easy just to put on, you don't really have to think about it or anything, but I actually really like the John Whittaker products i have a coat from them which i've had for years and i absolutely love and i also have a few bits for bonnie as well that always fit really well and they all seem quite good for her so yeah and this is also quite a stretchy material as well but yeah i just liked this so i got got it even though it's not a color i would normally go for i actually got something for my dog as well he's a springer spaniel so if you don't know anything about the breed they are very active and they love being in mud, water, anywhere like that, basically anywhere they can get stinky and disgusting and he is mainly white as well so that does not help. So to sort of combat that and help a little bit I got him this which is really hard to show on camera but this is a little mud suit so the back is this and this goes along his back with a zip there and that does actually have a little bit underneath there so it's not going to catch any of his fur in it or anything and then it has these which go all over his legs like they cover all four how cute now these legs are elasticated at the bottom but ollie only has quite little legs so i've had to fold them up a few times but obviously the elastic is still inside and it's still really stretchy so it's not going to be tight on his legs or anything and then obviously it has a hole at the back for his tail and everything, a hole for his head. But yeah, it just covers pretty much all of him. So all his legs are in it, his chest and his belly, which is where he's got a lot of long fur. But yeah, only his paws really stick out, so that's the only bit of him that's really going to get dirty. So it means he can go out, get as muddy and as stinky as he likes. And it doesn't matter because we just take the suit off and wipe down his paws. So I will actually insert a couple of pictures of him in it right now for you. Now I know he looks so sad in those pictures but I had only just put on him and after a few minutes he was used to it and he was happy just trotting around the house and yeah he just wasn't bothered. He was walking like a horse in travel boots so if you've seen that you know exactly what I mean. That's how he was walking at first until he got used to it. And then he was absolutely fine. He's such a good dog though. He doesn't bother about things like that whatsoever. Yeah, I am very, very pleased with this. It's really hard to show on camera. It looks huge as well. But it actually fits in really well. The length is really good. And the material is actually... It's a really good material. It's quite soft. And obviously it is shower proof. Uh, it hasn't doesn't have any lining or anything like that. So he's not going to get too hot in it when he's running around. 
but yeah it's really just to keep him dry and hopefully mud free i will get back to you probably on my instagram when he first goes out in this to see how it actually turns out and one of my favorite things to buy bonnie and i have to at the moment i'm a little obsessed is a saddle class so i got her this one right here this is gorgeous pink i was actually hoping it would be a brighter pink but it's not bad actually it's quite it looks very very bright on camera but it's more of a baby pink just sort of off dusky pink that kind of thing and this is from Lexi Equestrian and I have used a Lexi Equestrian saddle cloth for years and it still looks pretty new so they are actually really good quality I got this off eBay and it was nine pounds nine you can't beat that um, but obviously it is the old style they do have a new style now which is more shaped and this bit here where the girth goes has the protector like the fake leather and theirs did look really nice but it was £29 and I just wasn't sure if I wanted to spend that much because I really wanted a pink one to ride out in so it would be really bright obviously a lot of my side costs are quite bright anyway but I wanted a bright pink one that matches my coat that I wear when I ride out so that's why I was hoping this would be a bit brighter but it's still obvious you were going to see this and it has the white binding down the sides. It doesn't have a lot of fill, it is quite thin but obviously it's mainly just to keep your saddle protected from your horse's back and just a little bit of cushioning so it doesn't need to be really thick or anything like that. But yeah I really like Legacy Equestrian saddle cloths, they are just amazing quality and they always fit really well as well so for her I get a cob. Even though she is only 14 one, Cobb just fits her better as she can have quite a girth around her. So yeah, I always get that. I like it. It's actually really nice. I'm not really a pink person, but I like that one. Now everything else I got, I actually got yesterday. And these are from Nailers, which is like an equestrian superstore, I suppose you class it as. And I'm actually in between two of their stores, so I just went to one of them. And so I'm just going to show you what I got from there. So first up, some gloves, and I can't actually remember the brand of these, even though I only got them yesterday. Because uh, I actually rode in them, so they're not in the packet. But these are, they're just cotton material on the side. They have got hay in them, I do apologise. These are cotton on the outside, and then the inside is the sticky material. And they do have, and they do have Velcro on their wristband, so it fits really well. And these are really cheap, I actually really like riding in them, I feel like you can still feel your reins. And they're also really good for summer as well because they're not really thick so they don't make your hands really sweaty or anything like that. And for a while I've been wanting to get Bonnie a new head colour, but I really wanted a leather one but I didn't want to order it online because I wanted to be able to touch it and see how soft it is because like I said she has sweet itch. So I don't want anything really heavy or hard on her face, it has to be soft and padded. And actually to find a padded head collar that isn't fleece is incredibly hard. The fleece ones just, I don't think they're that good for where I am. Because we keep them in the stable so they get covered in dust from the bedding, hay, cobwebs probably. You know, just bits of everything. So for me, I prefer not to use fleece. But I decided to get this, which is leather. And this is from Shires. And this is the first leather head collar I've bought, Bonnie, and... It is just so nice. It smells nice as well, you know, that leather smell. But it is padded on the nose band and also the headpiece as well. So that is all the way over, just up to where the buckle go will go if you put it on the tightest. All the hardware is gold, and I think that actually looks really nice because normally I've had silver on Bonnie, apart from one of her bridles which has gold on, and I actually love that bridle. But the leather on this is very soft, like it's very bendy and I haven't cleaned this yet. This is literally just how it came from the shop. And it actually fits her so well. And that's with all her winter fluff as well because obviously it makes her face seem bigger than it is. But it just seems to fit her really well. And I actually really like how it looked because I actually wanted black but they didn't have any black in stock so I did get the brown. And you know what? I actually really like the brown on her. She normally has all black tack apart from one bridle which is for showing. So I've never really put brown leather on her. But this is quite a dark brown. I suppose you would class it as, yeah, Havana. So if you don't know what this is, it's like a chocolatey dark brown. 
And obviously it does have the label which tells you exactly how to care for it because obviously when it's new you do need to oil it and care for it a little bit just because it is new and it makes it softer to wear because obviously like you can see there it's not really got the round shape yet but it's really good and it does have the clip on the side which I really like because it makes it so much easier to take on and off I am very impressed with that From Wessex, which I think is Shay, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. I also got a black lead rope, and this is actually for Ollie because we use lead ropes as leads for him because he is a springer, so he is quite strong. So we found that lead ropes are definitely a better alternative to leads, and they don't cut into your hands either, you get better grip. Got that, we just got a black one, gold clasp, but yeah, this is from Shay's, and we've had those before, and they are really, really good. This is actually like a shiny material. Can just see it there it's like shiny rope which is a bit different and i thought it's quite nice and then lastly which is the entire reason that we went to Layla's, is because i needed a new coat i've had one from toggy for years and years like literally about 10 years and it's now just getting some holes in it it's not looking its best so i decided that i would treat myself to a new coat and I did look at a few different ones because I knew what I wanted, I knew the style, but obviously sizes are varying. So this is the one I got, it's from Lemur. And they are actually most known for their saddle cloths, but they recently brought out this coat and this is one well, of their new ones. So I got it in this burgundy, which isn't, which again, isn't the colour I would normally go for, but I normally have either navy or black, but I really like this when I saw it. And so it is just like a short... I know some, some people call it blouse and some people just call it a bomber um, they call it the team crew jacket so the outside of this is fully waterproof which is amazing because right now it's sort of coming into spring a little bit here in the UK so we need something just a little bit lighter and this is going to be perfect and obviously it has the logo on the front on the back of the collar there and also down one arm there oh and on the zip as well and then this is oh. and then this is the inside it's like this grey colour inside it is quilted and it actually feels really quite thick as well and then the collar is fleece lined in the burgundy again to match it does also have an inside pocket here for your phone which I think is amazing that's why I always put my phone Oh, actually, there's one on both sides. That is really good. Um, it does, of course, have the outside pockets. Right here. <laughs> That's really hard to show. And these are zipped as well. So that is perfect for putting your keys in, treats. Basically, anything you need to carry when you're riding. Go read what it says on the logo. So it's waterproof, wind resistant, which is amazing for if you're riding. One thing I actually really like about this coat is when I ride, I get quite warm. So these actually have zips under the arms here. So you can unzip that and it's like air conditioning for your arms. Like if you get, if you know what I mean when you ride, you get that completely. But I think that is a really, really good thing to have actually in the coat. Especially because like I said, it is going to be getting warmer and this will be a perfect everyday coat, whether that's riding, walking the dog, basically anything like that. So I, I love this and I can't wait to wear it and I love all the I just love it and it just feels like amazing quality as well yeah it just feels like amazing quality all the stitching is actually perfect on the inside and yeah it just feels so nice like the materials are so soft I just really like it and the other thing I actually got for Bonnie was I got her a little packet of stud muffin treats which are her absolute favourite and I actually took them up yesterday and she really enjoyed, well she had one of them, she didn't have them all. So she really enjoyed that but I can't show you them obviously. So that is my equestrian haul for today. Like I said I do need to get a couple more things. I forgot to take with me the measurement of her girth because I can't remember what it is. So I do need to buy that and I'm also looking for some stirrup leathers but I haven't found any that are what I want. So I'd rather wait and find the perfect thing rather than just buying something for the sake of it and then not really liking it once I'm using it. So I hope you like this haul 
And anything that I've shown, I will try to leave a link for it in the description bar below for you. But like I said, a lot of that was from nailers or just online. So they are very easy to get hold of if you want them. I have to say, I think my favourite things out of everything is the coats, which I cannot wait to wear. I am absolutely in love with it. I love the colour. Love it all. And it's actually my first Lemure product I have bought. I very nearly bought a saddle cloth and the matching gears. But I resisted because I don't need one. I did just buy the pink one. But I think I may treat myself to one because they just brought out mint and mint looks so good on Barney because she's bae and she already has some mint ears so I could just buy the saddle cloth I'm trying to justify it now but you know <laughs> um, also the head collar because I have been looking for a leather head collar for her for ages but like I said I don't want to actually be able to feel it in person and then I think lastly I have to go with the pink saddle cloth I just love the Legacy Equestrian saddle cloth anyway and I think I may treat myself to one of their new styles as well I'm going to be buying a lot of saddle cloths. <laughs> I already have a lot, but anyway. Um, so I hope you liked this video on my equestrian haul. Please let me know what you liked the best. It could be anything. I don't mind. Just give me your opinion. Also, if I do have any pictures of Bonnie wearing these, I will insert them when I'm showing them. I might not because I don't actually have someone with me at the minute to take pictures of her. And I've sort of saddle cloth thing. It's really hard to take a picture of yourself. So yeah, I hope you like this little haul. Please let me know what your favourite was out of everything I bought. And also, you have to let me know if you'd like me to do another scene when I maybe treat myself to some, a few more things. I mean, that could happen quite soon, but you know. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it. And I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!